Go ahead. Okay. Oh, okay. In this week's video, I am going to learn how to tow the trailer for the first time. And this is really only my thir third, maybe fourth time driving the truck. So, this will be very interesting. I'm a bit nervous, but I'm not going very far, and Randy will be alongside me. So, um, come along for the adventure. So welcome back to Zephyr's Travels. This week, Diane's gonna tow the trailer for the first time. And it's, like she said in the intro, it's only been her fourth time she's maybe driven the truck. Some, something like that. I haven't hardly at all. I mean, we've had the truck for five years, six, no, four years, how long? Five years? About five years. Yeah. And it just, I don't know. It's such a big truck and uh, you know, for me, it's a bit intimidating. Yeah, you have to understand, Diane's used to driving very small cars. So this is a big step for her to drive the truck, just with, even without the trailer, but to drive it with the trailer. But we feel it's important that in a traveling partnership that each partner knows how to drive the and tow the trailer because if something happened to me and I wasn't able to drive, you know, we'd be stranded. You know, if I broke an arm or a leg or something and we needed to get home, you know, you would have to, you know, you would have to drive. And so it's important that you learn how to do that when it's not an emergency. Right. So that you're comfortable getting in the truck and driving it, you know, and in those circumstances. So we decided that, you know, we're getting ready for a big trip mm -hmm. and we're going to be driving farther than we've ever driven from home and it'll be gone away longer than we've ever been, that it's important that Diane, you know, gets in the truck and drives it and tries it out. Right. I mean... Not only just to tow the trailer, but just to drive the truck itself. Right, right, right. So let's talk about some of the things here that are a little bit different when you're towing. So on the dash there, you have a monitor. On the top of the dash there, this is Voyager. That's your rear view monitor that is attached to a camera at the back of the trailer. So that is sort of like your rear view mirror because that rear view mirror doesn't do you any good. And here, you've got towing mirrors and so you've got your standard mirror you've got your 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 mirror here for up close you've got your standard mirror and then you've got this towing mirror and this towing mirror should show you a little bit farther around the side of the trailer it doesn't do a lot but it does help a little bit the way i look at this is you first look in this mirror when you're going down the road and you should be able to see a vehicle coming up behind you as it gets a little closer you'll see it in this mirror as it gets beside you you're going to see it in this mirror so that's kind of the way to do it because you're, this truck is equipped with blind spot monitoring, but it doesn't work with the trailer attached. So you won't have the little indicator here on in the mirror telling you there's something there. So you need to use the different mirrors to see if anything's behind you. Okay. But on the dash down there, there is the brake controller. Mm -hmm. And we'll show you when you st first start the move a little bit, you know, before we get on the road or have you test the brakes just to make sure they're okay and you get the understanding of what that's like. And then that can be used in case of an emergency. If you ever get into a situation where there's trailer sway, mm -hmm. you can manually apply those brakes. And what it does is it slows the trailer down and basically, you know, the trailer's trying to go faster than the truck and that's why it's swaying. And if you hit the brakes on the trailer, the trailer will slow down and that will bring the trailer back in line with the truck. So I think that's about it. I think what we're doing next is we'll just have you carefully pull forward and because there's, trailer is tight against the garage and so I'll have you just pull straight forward and then we'll get out into the driveway a little bit and I'll get in and then we'll talk about going around corners and such. Okay we've got the truck running and Diane's gonna pull it forward slowly and I'm gonna kind of guide her and just go slowly and I'll tell you when you can turn. Just go straight. Okay now you can start turning. Turn it sharp. That's 
that's good. Okay. So you're going to be taking a left-hand turn, and if you don't cut over to the right a little bit, you end up um, driving the trailer through the front lawn. So take it kind of, yeah. Anybody coming? Nope, you're clear. All right, so let's go down the end of the street. You see how it kind of, you cut that corner like you normally would drive, and I see how the trailer went across the other lane quite a bit. Oh. So when you come up here, stay to the left as much as you can. In fact, you know, in this situation where you really got a corner where no one's really coming, you can, go, you can hug the middle of the road pretty well. So now you want to, you actually want to cross over into the left-hand lane because this is only a two-lane road. So you want to kind of cheat a little bit and take a little bit of that room. And you can watch this mirror over here and you can see your wheels and see how they're tracking. Doing good, I think. Yep, you are lots of room. Right or left? Let's go left. We'll stick to the country a little bit. Nobody's coming. Nope. When do you start to accelerate? Whenever you want. I mean, I take corners easy if you're, you know, if you're stopped because you'll be just be a little on the cautious side. Uh -huh. um, now when you go around something like this. Just stay in your lane. Because it's more of a gradual turn, it's not as sharp of a turn. Oh, okay. Should we have a science student driver? Yeah. Okay, so now you're going to make, I'm going to have you make a right up here. Okay. So you get, now this is one where you're, you're going to have to try to stay in your lane. So you want to, you don't want to get over to the right at all. You want to stay to the left and go straight in, straight up to it. Like you normally would, you normally you'd be over here on right. the right hand side, but you're gonna go straight, but you're gonna keep it. It's okay, everything's clear, so just make your turn, and you've got plenty of room over here to clear. Perfect. So, unless you're unconscious, uh, I'd still have you to guide me. True. Because I would never drive it by myself. One thing that I tend to do when I'm driving, I look in this mirror, and our like so we have a, a white line on the road here, mm -hmm. and so I look in this mirror, and I see where the trailer is in relationship to that line, because okay. it, it's very easy to kind of center your truck or maybe put your truck over just a little bit to the right, uh -huh. you know, when you're driving, uh -huh. and what you don't realize is the trailer sticking over probably another, you know, almost a foot. So, if you put your truck towards this line, yeah, like you are right now, uh -huh. the trailer is really on the line. Oh, okay. So that's something, you know, you just you just glance over and check and you see, oh, okay, I'm a little bit, you know, too much to the line. Uh -huh. And then I would just adjust my driving a little bit and put myself in a position where I'm not quite there. Right. And, and it really, that's one thing when you're on, on the uh, expressway. Uh -huh. you know, if you're driving in those situations, you know, you, you definitely want to pay attention because you could easily, you know, to the right or to the left, drift into someone else's lane and not yeah. realize that you're putting the trailer over into their lane more than you thought. Oh, right. Or if they're beeping at me. Right. Yeah, they would do that. But you have, I mean, like, now if you're going to change lanes, this is where this camera comes in real handy because you can tell if there's anybody, you know, meeting behind you or maybe coming up on a lane behind you. Those mirrors work good, and the outer mirror will help you a lot if we were to adjust that a little uh -huh. bit closer for you to help you manage that other lane and yeah, the change lanes. But typically, what you're going to you're going to do is you're going to get in the right-hand lane. You're going to pick a speed that's just slightly slower than you know, that you're comfortable at, but, but probably just slightly slower than what everybody else is driving, and then make make them pass you. Right. You know, I mean, 
as long as you're on a multi-lane road and you're not holding up traffic, mm -hmm. you know, that's, you know, you're not going to upset anybody. They're just going to go around you. And that helps keep vehicles away from you pretty well. If the um, speed limit is 65, how fast do you go? I might go 60. Yeah. You know, if when I'm on the expressways and the speed limit is 65 and everybody's doing 70 plus, uh -huh. I typically do 65 to 68. Oh. I pick my speed there because I know it's an odd speed. Most people are going to drive 70. Uh -huh. And, you know, so I, I'll pick that speed. And then, you know, there's going to be some people that are gonna be driving 65 that, you know, you, it would slow you down, but you're not slowing down that much. You know, so it's not a big deal. Right. But that's kind of how I, I choose it. I just look at it that way and try to keep myself comfortably away from everybody. You know, on a road like this, you know, if if I'm if it's a lot of traffic or whatever, then I'm obviously going to try to go with traffic, but I'm going to keep space between me and anybody around me. So I'm always going to you know kind of stay back because it does take more to brake, you know, with a truck uh -huh. in the trailer. You know, the trailer's heavy. Now the trailer has brakes on it, and you know it does help a lot. Right. But it, you will notice a difference when you go to slow down. Yeah. What about when it's windy? To be honest with you, I we haven't been in a windy situation that it's concerned me at all. Oh, okay. You know, and it's part of because of this, you know, it's an airstream and it's partly because we've got a, a hitch that has good sway control and it works well with this setup. Uh -huh. um, that's not to say that we couldn't get into a situation with a real heavy wind, you know, 30, 40 miles an hour wind. In those situations you really want to think, think about, do you really want to travel or not? probably wouldn't be traveling those days right you know if you knew it or you'd be very careful because you could you could get into a situation where you know the wind could affect your trip especially if it's going blowing across the highway now the one thing i have noticed with with this is if you are being are passing or being passed by a semi um you hold on <laughs> yeah. well what happens is that semi is pushing a lot of air Right. You know, you know, think of the boat in a wake, and that's pushing a big wave of air. Well, here comes the semi. Yeah. Well, you're not going to notice it too much. You might notice it a little bit. It might, you might feel a little bit as it goes by. You see? Felt it a little bit there. Yeah. That's all. But when you're going in the same direction, if you pull up next to it, what tends to happen is you get a spot where that air will push you away, but you also get a point where that air kind of sucks you back closer to the trail, to the semi. So that's what you have to be careful about is that you don't want to get you know too tight to that semi so you have to just be aware that that's going to happen and you need to correct for it a little bit but not overcorrect. Uh huh. So we turn someplace? Yeah let's turn here and we'll go up to 33 and just do the block I guess.
You did it. Yep. What'd you think? Um, just driving along the road is not, you know, bad. Uh, you just have to be very cautious when you turn and just remember, you know, where you need to go, whether you're turning right or left. And uh, so we just drove along some of the roads in our area and then we took it for a short drive on the expressway. So, yeah, I didn't. I wasn't as anxious as I thought I would be. Right. Uh, I think I would need you alongside, you know, to guide me a little bit. But it wasn't, you know, really that bad at all. Oh, well, good. Yeah. yeah. Well. So, I think I can handle, you know, some of the roads. Right. Well, we have to let you practice some more when right. we're traveling. Right. Yeah. So you can take a shift every now and then. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm glad you did it. Yeah. Hopefully, you guys have found this interesting, and you know, maybe some of you who haven't towed before, um, it's an opportunity to see what it's like for a beginner. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, and what should they do? Subscribe to our channel. Great. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications. We post new videos every week, and we've got a bunch of new stuff coming as we start our, our winter adventure. So follow along. Until the next time, guys, we're hopefully see you down the road. See you down the road. Bye. Bye.